Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today, three brand new gameplay trailers dropped for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet, revealing a ton of new gameplay, star selection screens, and a lot of other stuff. We're going to be breaking it all down today, so if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we cover in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. With all of that out of the way though, let's get into the video and I really hope that you enjoy. So, starting things off, as I said, there's three new trailers to go over. This is the first one. It's 30 seconds long. It's in Japanese, so I don't need to listen to it because I'm not sure what they're saying. So, hopefully, it gets translated or something like that. And then we have another one, which is 30 seconds long. And then we have another one, which is five and a half minutes long. And this was posted on the Nintendo official channel. So, there's a lot of stuff to go over and break down and stuff. Uh, so, exciting times. Either way, though, this is the first trailer. So, uh, it's got Karide in there with uh, some new... I guess uh, clothes like a new hat or something. I'm not sure what it's called, but it's again a new clothing customization item. You got the snowy mountain in the background, um, and then I, this looks like a first kind of uh, view, like what is it called? First person view. Um, I know it's not in the game, but it'd be kind of crazy if it was. It definitely looks like that anyway. Um, but it's obviously just because of like the, the text and stuff. And uh, so this is one of the towns. I think this is the grass gym town. Um, it definitely looks familiar with, especially with like the sun floor and stuff. Um, that we're like running through it from like previous trailers a little bit of multiplayer here um, so again some more customization items there got some pikachus chilling gender difference here as you can see this is a female one because it's got the love heart uh shaped tail and again this guy's just running through them all so they don't really i mean i guess some of them do um kind of react to the trainer but some of them just go about their day and be like i right, you can just run by i'm fine with that um but again, they've all got their own kind of like little characteristics and stuff here. Like this Pikachu's like shaking and stuff. Some more clay, uh, some more climbing up that again. Uh, Don fun in the background there with uh, a Skidoo and stuff. Easily going back onto Maraidon and then jumping over some Wiglets. <laughs> and then we've obviously got him, I guess, swimming uh, with some Gyarados in the background and Slowpoke in the background as well. This is the first time I think I've ever seen a Slowpoke swim. Um, and then we have some Paldean Whoop there, jumping up and down. Again, they're not reacting to the trainer. I guess a lot of Pokemon don't react. And then just jumps over the cliff edge. And then got Cloth jumping in. Titan battle with uh, Quaxley there. And then again, you don't have to all be like riding your legendaries at the same time. We've got two people on foot there and then two people riding. Um, so either way, that's the first trailer. So a lot of really cool new gameplay. And then we've got, the, again, this icicle like mountain in the background. Uh, this is the next 30 second trailer. This is the starter selection screen, which looks really, really cute. So obviously we've got the protagonist running out of her house and then running to the the lab and then this is the starter selection screen so just like we had in pokemon sword and shield they're all kind of like doing their own little thing and like reacting to the trainer and wanting to get picked uh, i'm not sure if it's going to play like a cutscene as it did in sword and shield where you got like grookey kind of like banging his um branch and then like quaxley not quaxley um what's he called uh Subble getting like scared or getting like upset and then scorbunny like sorting it all out or if it's just going to be like this screen here um but again this is what happens when you actually pick the Pokemon. So, obviously, in Sword and Shield, it's like a fist bump or something like that. And this one, it seems to, like, jump on your arm, or at least it does with Sprigatito, um, which is, again, really cute, really wholesome little moment there. Uh, and then we have the trainer creeping up on an Eevee, and I think that's a uh, dealing in the background. So, again, if you're creeping, they just won't really notice that you're there and stuff. Um, and then he was just eating in the background. Then he catch the Eevee. Uh, he's still eating in the background, the dealing. <laughs> it just doesn't care, just munching. Uh, and then obviously running through here, the EV's following you. We've got uh, the Ferrigarath there. Some more selfies, some more photos stuff. And then this is more of a picnic situation. We've got Talonflame there, uh, Lucario, uh, Ferrigarath, Sprigatito. I love how just in every single trailer they've showed so far, there's just no <laughs> start revolutions. It's always the, the, always the first stage. Lucario using an attack, Talonflame using an attack. And then we've got some uh, terrestrializing here with EV, Sprigatito, and Ferrigarath. And then we've got like a nice kind of piranic view of um, the team of that protagonist. So um, also the size of this thing is a little bit bigger than I thought. He's nearly as big as Lucario. Uh, either way, they're the two 30 second trailers. And then this is the five and a half minutes long trailer. Um, so this is a really big one to break down. I'm, I'm guessing it will take gameplay clips from the other two 30 second ones. Because we've already seen this. But either way, panning over that uh, the grass gym. 
trainer running we can get on top of the tower so this is confirmation not only can we get on top of the lighthouses you can also get on top of the towers apparently you have to climb the towers but with the lighthouse you just kind of teleport to the top you can see like a ladder there um so interesting is why that's a difference like maybe there's certain quests or something like i feel like something happens on top of this like i don't think it's just a lookout tower i feel like there's more than meets the eye to it um but either way just kind of panning over as well we've got Mariah in there some Mareep in the background uh, you've got the, you, yourself there with Arvin. We've got some co-op stuff going on, I think. And then Scarlet and Violet. Again, it's still in Japanese. Uh, there is, ve like, at the time this goes up, there might have already been a trailer announced for, like, tomorrow or this week. It hasn't at the time I'm recording this. But, again, we've got all this stuff on, like, the Japanese channels and everything. And, again, it wasn't on, like, the English channels. But it could easily drop on that. Or just a brand new trailer could drop. Or it could drop tomorrow. You know what I mean? So, anyway... This is just talking about um, like the snowy place and, and slowpoke swimming. We've got the windmill there as well. Uh, some combi as well in the town. I don't know if you can catch the Pokemon that are in the town or they're just kind of chilling there. Um, but either way, we have uh, the protagonist room here. And then just running out and then into which I do believe this is the main big town. But obviously it's Scarlet, so it has like the orangey kind of uh, shields here or pins or, or badges, whatever you want to call them. Um, but obviously in Violet will be the grapes. This is the first image of the library though. So this looks really cool. That's an Iglybuff on the right. That's not a new Pokemon. Um, so yeah, I think the library, it looks massive. So I'm guessing there's going to be quite a lot of story related portions uh, in this uh, library here. But that's really cool. Got a class here. Um, we've got this uh, trainer as well who potentially could be like a gym leader or an elite four member or something like that. Rival stuff going on. Nimona. Uh, the battle with her, we've got uh, Clavel here, who again I still think is evil. I think I think you're gonna battle him at some point. He's got six premier balls on his on his belt. There's no, there's obviously a reason for that. Um, so yeah, he's just talking. And then again, we have this in the background, which seems to be quite a special kind of building. Uh, got a pop-up Pokemon Center on the right as well. A lot of steps. This town is massive. And again, this is one of the loading zones for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, so that's why it's massive. Then we've got the starter selection screen, or I guess more of a cutscene than it's just talking about the starters. Obviously, Sprigatito, Coco, and Quaxley. Again, more kind of uh, gameplay clips of them. Like, we've already had snippets of this, but it's like more kind of snippets of them. Um, but either way, and this is again the starter selection screen. They look really, really happy. They want you to choose them. You got Karaiden and Maraiden here, again, version exclusives. Um, we need more, we need to know more version exclusives though, because there's just not a lot <laughs> like you, you're still not really in the position where you you know which game you're definitely going to choose because it could be like a ton of really cool version exclusives that they haven't revealed yet um but either way this seems to be like the desert area um and then again just showing different kind of like day and night cycles it's not like ultra ultra moon where like the, the time's different um there's no real time clock in this game it is literally all dependent on how you play the game i guess you can rest or something to make the, the time skip like you could in pokemon legends arceus uh, and then we've got Coridon's uh, climbing, we've got Coridon gliding, uh, and then this here is I'm not too sure. We're just, I guess, more traveling. Uh, and then this seems to be one of the this seems to be the champion kind of big building or something because this is where you uh, meet what's her face. Can't remember her name off the top of my head, but she's the strongest trainer in um, all the land. Again, this is kind of not confirmation, but very likely that Dreepy is also going to be in the game. I don't know if it's been confirmed yet, but we have some booklets down here and uh, Dreepy. I do believe is going to be in the game because of that um but again or at least a dlc or something uh, and then we have a side of that it's not dead it's just it's just sleeping he's just chilling uh, and then you have the lights kind of coming off and then we have uh, the electric gym leader and this is what it looks like when you're actually getting into co-op so your friends just kind of teleport into your world um again a lot of the big question was like do you have a separate co-op world or do they come into your normal world i think they just literally come into your normal um world and then we've got them riding uh, and then again using emotes and stuff um, again I don't know if this is a battle or what because uh, it looks like the Hydreigon is battling but again we all know that everyone there can get out their Pokemon and stuff it's like a, not in a picnic scenario but like just to get them out and just play with them and stuff uh, this is Team Star's fire base another tower there it's raining um, and again more of a kind of gym situation going on I don't know if all the gyms look like that uh, but it definitely gives me like sword and shield vibes where you have to go up to the desk and stuff um, or it could just be literally the champion location, but I feel like it is just a gym. And then we have Smoliv there. Um, and then I don't know what this attack is. I don't know. It doesn't look like Ember or anything. I'm not really sure what this is. I don't know if it's like a new move for Fue Coco. Uh, but it kind of gets like a ring of fire around him uh, and then uses the attack. So it could be Ember. It could be whatever. I don't know. It looks like a brand new attack, though. Uh, and then as you can see in the bottom right-hand corner, you've got your different kind of alerts on the mini-map. You've got your exclamation mark here. Um, to show like a quest you've got the fire thing there i'm guessing that means team stars fire base 
Um, so again, you kind of always need to look at your mini map because there will be a lot of information on there. Um, and then again, just talking to them. And then this is the situation where you're battling all the Hound Hour and stuff like that. Also a confirmation that you kind of get Riolu pretty early on in the game um, because the Team Star fire base is the first team star base i guess you're supposed to take on i know you can do them in any order but it looks like this is the one with the lowest levels um so yeah riolu pretty early on in the game which is pretty cool allows you to get a lucario got meryl there fighting the uh the talk was that torkoal because obviously we know that she has torkoal uh yeah it was torkoal it used fire spin and then we've got arvin here as well a little bit more gameplay of him um i don't know what my favorite rival is they all look really cool got the balloons in the background cloth with his rotating eyes looks really freaky but either way he's jumping off the cliff uh, using Rock Smash, I do believe that is on Sprigatito. Again, the Titan's health shot down when Drifloon was attacking it, so I don't know how strong the Titans are actually going to be. And then we're just kind of walking through different kind of um, clips of Pokemon just in the natural habitats, stuff like that. Lechonk just chilling. Cannot wait to shiny hunt this dude. Uh, we've got Fido there just sleeping. Again, I think this is just in like a random shop or something like that. So Titan, again, it's just going over all of the Pokemon. New gameplay clips of the already revealed Pokemon. Paldean Wooper is there. Again, still need to see what that evolves into. Um, and then we have a Hoppip here. That Hoppip looks massive. So again, you have to run into the Pokemon. Uh, and then Sprig and then we've got Quaxley. Was that Peck, I think? I'm not sure. Got a Lechonk there. Obviously noticing you, but now using the auto battle feature to take on the Lechonk. Um, and again, I think these little flying symbols down here, I think those are your fast travel points. We know you can fast travel to the different pop up Pokemon centers, but it looks like that's a fast travel point, And that's what they look like on the map. Um, and then also... Um, we have like the items and stuff that you get for the um, for, for the auto battle features and everything like that. So uh, next up we have terrestrializing. Uh, so the terrestrializing their um, Fue Coco into a fire type. Okay, so that's what it looks like with the fire type stuff like that. Uh, we already know this. We've, we've not seen this gameplay, but we've already seen parts of it. This definitely could be Ember, um, and this could be I don't know that I don't know what that attack is. I'm trying to think. I I. I I know what it is. It's not leafage, but it's something similar to it. But either way, uh, it's like all the just their boosted attacks and stuff like that, just using their attacks. And then we've got uh, Eevee showing off the different terror crystals and different terrestrialization. We've got a fire and a water type Eevee there. Um, and then this is a green terrestrializing kind of raid thing. Um, so you have to go up to these, and then that's how you kind of do the raid. Um, also, what I really like about this as well, which I didn't really notice before, and I didn't know if it was a thing, but the colors of the raid show like like on the floor and in the background and stuff show like what typing it also is so we've got a cypher here who's a grass type um who's terrestrialized into a grass type and the whole background is also green and everything like that also cypher not flying for once he's actually standing on his uh feet he's not he's not flying um so yeah obviously it's real-time battles and stuff like that so you have to do them like pronto otherwise you'll lose um and then we've got the, the protagonist catching the cypher here uh the pokeball shaking um, and then we have some more information again. It's in Japanese, so I don't know what it's saying until we get into it Got a couple of Azuril here, um, and then they're just taking photos of them again There's not a lot of skittish Pokemon in this game um, Because like you think Azuril would be a little bit shy, but straight up to you and just like yo take my photo man uh, And then we've got uh, the salon I do believe again apparently you can customize your clothes like anywhere I'm not sure about here though. I think here you might have to go to like a salon and stuff. Either way, these are all the different customizational features. Again, you can customize properly like your whole character's face and everything like that at the start of the game when you're choosing like um, your name and like your skin color and everything like that. Um, and then this is the trainer card. Again, you can change your photo and stuff. Um, so that's really cool. Again, just more of an in-depth kind of um, show of it. There was also a bound suite there in the background. I don't know if that's a brand new returning Pokemon. I don't. Has that already been confirmed? There was a bound suite there. Had Bounce Sweep been confirmed? I feel like it might have been. Either way, Bounce Sweep's back. Uh, and then some more Pokemon there. And then some more Pokemon there. Frigoraph just sleeping. This is Picnic Feature, Washing Pikachu. Obviously increases friendship stuff. This is the Sandwich, which increases like shiny chances and stuff. Um, and then I, I don't think there's any other... I'm like also trying to look at returning Pokemon and stuff, but I'm pretty sure all of these have already been confirmed. Um, and again, that's just the Picnic Feature there. Uh, but this is a really cool overview trailer, though. Like, so much new gameplay. And then we've got a Leafy on there in the background, Scyther, uh, Belly Bolt, Pikachu, um, Nimona talking to you, this is another city, gliding, co-op, um, this is Team Star, um, I don't know if that's the fire Team Star or what, and then uh, we've got some more trainers and stuff, we still need to see what this bloody Tauros is on this kid's shirt by the way, 
Um, like, this dude had, like, a, a, a bull or something on his shirt. Like, we still need... Is that Tauros, or is it, like, a different form or something? Like, what's going on there? We still need to see what that is all about. Um, and then again, it's just loads of different snapshots and stuff, trading. I think we've m seen the majority of these. Um, I really like that, though, where Armour just shoulders things, kind of, like, go into the cannon. Sarah Ledge, really, really cool gameplay clips. And that is basically it. So... That's a breakdown of all of the new trailers. Um, again, at the time that this goes up, there might be a trailer announced for tomorrow. There might even be another trailer. Um, I don't know. I feel like we're going into thick and fast going into all the news now. But either way, that's everything for today's trailer breakdown. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do consider hitting the like button down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. It really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on anything we covered in today's video. Subscribe if you're brand new for daily Pokemon content. Ring the notification bell. It's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.